Um, as you've probably, probably already seen, um, we picked TJ Leaf with the 18th pick in the draft. Uh, to give you a little background, uh, a lot of times when we get into the draft, we bring in our scouts, we put a few names up on the board, and then they rank those guys that we're really looking at. And I got a little nervous for this draft because as we wrote those names out and our scouts started to do the rankings, every single time they were putting TJ first. And so that was, we've never had that because everybody likes TJ. So then as we're going and we start the draft, uh, it was really interesting because we were just sort of holding our breath all the way to 18 to get this kid. Uh, this kid embodies what the Pacers are about. He's Pacer, Pacers ethos to a T. He's a hard worker. Um, we did so much intel uh, on him and feel like we know him already. Uh, he works out three times a day. He's committed to winning. He's about uh, playing the right way. And so we're really excited. We, we feel like we got a top 10 pick in this kid. And when you're picking 18, that's pretty good. Um, we expect to come in to compete right away. Uh, and he has some amazing offensive tools. And Nate's got to turn, uh, turn him a little bit better defender. But I know he's going to uh, work on that area. But we're thrilled to death that we feel like we really got a great player. We've got a player that um, has a huge amounts of upside and is going to be a, a super talented scorer in this league. And I think sooner rather than later. Now, every player goes through an adjustment uh, from being a rookie to going against real NBA players. But uh, high expectations. Um, but whatever his ceiling is, he's going to get there. So uh, excited. Surprise at 18, and uh, uh, this is going to be a great thing for this organization. We shot the ball really well. Uh, when we did our closeout drills, he was able to finish right and left hand. He just has a knack around the basket. He, he finishes a lot of things around the basket. And to tell you, today's you know, basketball, with so much length at the rim, you have to finish around the basket. He's, he's clever around the basket. And so I think that was one of the things. Also, I think he's a terrific passer. Uh, obviously, we watched UCLA quite a bit, and they put the ball in his hands, but they had a point guard that had the ball in his hands quite a bit. Um, and I, I could see Nate uh, using him as a playmaker as well because he can really pass it. And he's going to be a good rebounder. Um, I think if you look at some of his rebounds in college, he goes and gets dirty rebounds, meaning when there's multiple play players around, he's not afraid to go get it. And he's not a play to afraid to play physical. I think uh, oh, a month ago when I took over, I said I wanted physical players. And although he's not there physically, he's willing to be physical. He's a tough kid. He's willing to be physical. And for me, we felt like he's got tremendous upside. In two or three years, he has a chance to be a really good scorer in this league, and you know he'll be an improved defender because Nate will make him. Well, I think he's kind of that new age four. He can spread the floor. Uh, he can put it down. He's athletic at the rim. He's got a knack for scoring the ball around the rim with either hand, uh, and he runs. I mean, he's a gazelle. He loves to run, and. Um, you know, it's funny because as, as this unfolded, we talked to his agent quite a bit, and his agent was adamant. And I'm not saying this was a big part of it, but he was adamant about, I want to be a pacer. And so, at the end of the day, does that make a little bit more of a difference And when, when you make these decisions? Yeah, maybe today it did.